Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today is day 44 of the circuit breaker and just today uh, it was actually floating around on obviously on Facebook that they're going to be launching Facebook shops speculations are that it will potentially compete with Amazon well, not surprising they've been on a list of uh, acquisitions right they bought out WhatsApp they bought out Instagram they launch Libra, you know, and in, in case you're not aware, Libra is actually a cryptocurrency. Apparently it's a stable coin, it's pegged to the US dollar. So I think within this whole entire ecosystem, they're trying to build out a whole uh, e-commerce e uh, ecosystem for to connect business uh, users with uh, a ready audience. And obviously on Facebook, you've got like more than a billion uh, users right now. So... Obviously the strategy would be to promote that kind of an economy within Facebook. I've probably not mentioned this before, but, or I might have in some of my videos, I have never been a huge fan of Facebook. Uh, neither am I a huge fan of uh, Instagram. Um, but you know what? Most of my business profiles are on those social media uh, platforms. So I guess today's video is about what do I think about this initiative I think it benefits uh, small home-based style of uh, business users, you know, you have a captive audience. But overall, I think for anyone who plans to do like a viable business over the long term, I don't think Facebook is the way to go. In fact, I don't think uh, any so-called social media platform is the way to go. Uh, it's essential, but it's not the way to go. So let me clarify. What is important to know is that Facebook lives on the internet. Facebook is not the internet. And in order to participate in this digital economy, I think what's really important is for any business to at least have your own domain name. And that is what I strongly advocate for any business or wanting to, I mean, for, at least this is a new age of doing business. If you need to start a business, I think a domain name, you know, having your, your own, uh, yep, your own domain name is probably the most essential thing. And then with everything else, you know, your social media, I classify Facebook, Twitter, and everything as social media. It depends on what's current, what's hot, the kind of engagement that you get. I mean, take for example, TikTok. Who would have expected it to like take off in such a huge way? And then right now you see all the random celebrities coming on board the platform. I mean, it's all about the eyeballs, right? It's all about, it's all about keeping current. It's all about being relevant. The same thing that you saw Will Smith being such a huge A-list celebrity coming onto YouTube, having his own, having his own YouTube channel is because obviously there are people wanting to watch him. And YouTube provides that kind of a platform. It's created so many sites, created chart Justin Bieber. And you know, it's like, it's all about being current at the moment. So I think as a business owner, I think that's really, really important. I think it's one of, the, um, one of the things to take note of. I think the most essential thing would be a domain name. I would not be very highly dependent on Facebook shops uh, going forward. And it's all about that little carrot they, dang they dangle in front of you, right? They're offering grants of up to $100 million, you know, and then uh, giving you free ads and whatever. I mean, it's like, to put it bluntly, killing you softly, you know. They, 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 they bring you in and then they realize that, hey, you know, you don't actually need to, you don't actually need to spend uh, any much more uh, since you're already on Facebook, you know, you should just make use of uh, whatever the facilities they were providing uh, to you to start your first business and everything. So I think that is a very, very dangerous um, uh, thought, you know, for any uh, business owner. Sure, you have all these platforms encouraging you, making things easier for you. But look, that is exactly the same thing that happened to brick and mortar businesses like right now. The only reason why online delivery pl uh, platforms are proliferating is because a lot of these brick and mortar businesses, they don't even bother to have their own internet presence. They don't even bother to have their own delivery service. So they become dependent. And this dependency on what um, all these e-commerce providers are, are giving to the business owners, I don't think it's a very good thing. If anything at all, I think it's made people a little bit more dependent 
on so-called these service providers. I think it's a vicious cycle. I don't think it works. So I don't know if you are somebody who is interested in starting a business, these are some things to think about. Um, I think it's dangerous. I mean, I've, I've seen the evolution of like how, you know, Facebook started out, then with their Instagram, you know, uh, they tried to do the e-commerce shop. It's already there actually, you know, if you've been on Facebook and Instagram long enough, you know that you are able to sell products within the, um, within the platform and then they link it directly to the website. So I think it could be a beta launch for something like this and then now they're going to go full on into like uh, in, into providing e-commerce services because I think in Singapore at least, you know, it was just a link direct to the product on my website. So it's a dangerous uh, precedent uh, if you were to consider anything long term. I think it would greatly benefit the uh, home business users but it's definitely something to think about and I really hope that everyone um, stays uh, vigilant, you know, about what all these uh, internet giants are trying to do. Uh, it's important to understand what is at least essential to your business. Uh, having, again, I know I'm repeating myself, at least that domain name, I think it's really, really important. Don't build that dependency because, you know, in business, you really depend on yourself as the entrepreneur to really do the stuff that you need to do. And if you provide a good product or a good service, it doesn't matter where you are, you know, you have your own website, people by word of mouth, they will come to you. Just provide a good service, a good product, people will automatically come and look for you, all right? It's, uh, we don't really have to be that opportunistic that way. Latching on to a social media platform, that's a great way to promote your business and your product. But I think we shouldn't lose sight of what's uh, more important for every uh, entrepreneurial uh, endeavor going forward. I think that is, uh, that is really important. Yeah, today is day 44. And obviously, we, <laughs> we realize, I think uh, everyone now in Singapore knows that we have uh, the circuit breaker is going to be over. Uh, it's going to be over on June the first. Well, technically, it's not really over. We've got three phases that we have to consider before everything becomes the new normal. That's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything that you would like me to elaborate on, you know, um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this new new thing that uh, Facebook launched. Uh, I think it's just going to make people lazier. But hey, that's just me. And uh, until the next one, you guys uh, take care and hang in there, guys. See ya. Bye.